hi you're welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial video i'll be showing you how you can analyze a continuous beam that's loaded with uniform load in start pro so let's begin i will create a new project and then uh, i can create on space then give it a name let me give it um beam with udl Okay, then um, I will choose my length unit to be meter and then my force to be kilonewton. Then next, okay, then all right. So this is what I need. Okay, then you can just close this snap node or beam. So I want to have um, four spans of beam and each span should be 2.5 meter. So to do that, I will start by creating the node. The first node will be at the origin, so it will be 0 on the x, 0 on the y, 0 on the z. Then next one, it will be 2.5 meter in the x, then the remaining will be 0. Okay. The third one, I will have 5 meter. The next one, I will have 7.5 meter. And the next one, I will have 10 meters. Okay. So these are the five nodes. And that will be equivalent to four spans. Okay, then you can put it in um, the front view. Then you start by creating the beam. You can add beam. Click on add beam. Then you pick this node. Then up to the last node here. Okay. Then um, you can cancel that by clicking on the add beam again. Now what you are going to realize is that you only have one span of beam. If you click on this beam, it's going to select just one beam instead of four spans of beam okay so that means i need to break this beam at every node point because every point where i have the node there is supposed to be a support okay so how am i going to split that just um pick the um the geometric cursor and then select everything the node and the beam make sure you select all of the nodes and the beam the geometric cursor will select node it will also select the beam okay then you can go to geometry and then you will click on break beams at selected nodes so click on that then you can see three new beams have been created so click on ok now if you select this beam you can see it is now a single beam all right so that is very easy so we have the beam drawn the next thing now will be to give properties to the beam in start pro you cannot successfully analyze any element without giving a property to it so you need to give a particular thickness to a beam or to a slab or to any kind of element you are modeling so let's give a property to this beam although the property does not matter in this beam but we just give it to it so that we can successfully analyze okay then you go to general tab to do that then you can go to property here so save save so you can click on property so that you can have this okay then you go to define so that we can define a particular thickness you have different kind of um properties i mean section properties so i'll be picking a rectangular property then the dimension i will say we have 0 0.1 meter by 0 0.1 meter for the rectangular section beam then here you can decide the kind of material you want to work with if it is steel stainless steel aluminium or concrete okay so let me just put it in concrete and then say add then you close now what i've done is that i've only added um, a particular thickness but i've not assigned it to the element i need i just created it now i need to assign it to them so make sure this property you just added is selected you can see it is in blue color that means it is selected and i'm going to assign it to this so what i'm going to use i have about four assignment methods you can see assign to selected beam use cursor to assign assign to edit list assign to view you can use any of them to assign so if you want to assign to selected beam all you just need to do is select that particular beam like this then you click on assign then you assign the property to that beam okay let's see assign then it's going to assign to this beam alone okay so you can just select all of the beam and then you use this assign to select that beam another one you can use um use cursor to assign 
so when you click on use cursor to assign just click on assign then you come here and then you click on that beam then you can see this beam has also been assigned you can see r1 okay so that is how you can assign the next one is assigned to edit list this one you first of all need to create an edit list then you now be assigning to that edit list okay so this is kind of um this will be useful when you have um, a very complex structure that you need different kind of assignment method then this fourth one is assigned to view this one simply means it should just assign to everything in the in the drawing so for example you can use this now just click on assign to view then everything will get assigned okay so you can see everything gets assigned just like that okay so depending on what you are designing you can pick any kind of assignment method that will be more faster and easier for you okay so we are done with the assignments of the property we can move to the next one the next one is to give the support so um i have let me pick the node cursor okay so obviously you can see that i have five nodes here the nodes at the extreme edge that is node one and um, node five i want a fixed support over there and the three intermediate nodes which is this number three and number four i need um a inch support at those points so let's go ahead to do that so go to support and then i have the support tab so all i just need to do is create the supports that i need so click on create then i need a fixed support you can see this is fixed support that is being um selected already so just click on add so that we can add the support so i have that support and that is what support two so create another one which is pin support so create it then i'm going to add again so click on add then i'm going to have just that so for support two which is a fixed support i can use use cursor to assign i'm going to use this assignment method now so use cursor to assign then you click on assign then i am going to click on this edge and then click on this last edge then that will give me um that okay then i'm going to use this order method then i'll use um use cursor to assign again then i can just come around here then come around here you don't need to be perfect with the particular node it will fish it out okay so i have um all of this again so i can escape okay the next thing now will be to load the beam okay so you go to load and definition okay so just as usual we are going to create a load case before we start assigning okay so you can go to load cases so that we can create a load case then you click on add all right so i'm going to have a load case which is load case number one then let me give it a title i'm just going to give it um uniform distributed load okay then under the loading type you can pick a name that is befitting for the load title okay so for this i will just pick um maybe dead load you can even pick gravity load if it is live load if it is um you know a temperature load any kind of load you are working with you can just um pick it all right then i'll click on add so that the load case can be created so i don't need anyone i can just close it since i'm done i only need one load then you can see the uniform distributed load case has been created but what i've done right now is i've only created a title for it i have not created the load the value of the load i have not created it i've only created the title so let me create the value of the load so to do that you just need to click on this load that you've created which is the uniform distributed load then you are going to click on add okay so in this po in this um portion this is where i'm going to create the value for the load okay so you can see the self weight and everything i am not going to do this so i'll just come to member load so under the member load i have several kind of load i have the uniform force which is the uniform distributed load so i'm going to pick the uniform force that is what we are interested in right now okay then i'm going to give the value for the load 
now in this case i'm going to have three different value for the load i'm going to have a load of two kilonewton per meter i'm going to have one of three kilonewton per meter and i'm going to have one of five kilonewton per meter so let's create them one by one all right so here where you have the w1 that has to do with the force so you are going to insert the value of the force you need so i'm going to insert the first one which is two kilonewton per meter however i'm not going to insert two kilonewton per meter i will write minus two you know you don't need to put a unit the unit is there already you've selected the unit from the beginning but instead of two i'll be inserting minus two why because a load is usually vertically downward not vertically upward so when you're going upward that is positive when you are coming downward that is negative so you need to include the direction of your load however if you make mistake by putting positive you can always edit it back all right then here where you have d1 d2 d3 that is supposed to be the position of where the load is going to start from and end d1 is the beginning of the load where you want the load to start from so that is it you can see it here d1 that is the beginning of the load then d2 that is where the load should end then d3 that is the position of the load along the width i want the load to start from zero and end at 2.5 meter you know for a single span it is 2.5 meter if you still remember when we're creating the node so i want the node to start from zero to 2.5 meter so you have one option you can put zero and then here you can put 2.5 meter that is because i'm very sure of the length of the beam but if you are not sure of the length of the beam you can just put zero when you put everything to be zero 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 start pro we interpret it that you want the load to be from one node to the next node okay and that is exactly what i need so i can put it in zero 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 so d2 can be zero and it can be 2.5 meter okay so let's do for zero and we also do for 2.5 meter then you are going to say that it is still the same thing so i'm going to click on add so that has been added you can see it here it has been added so i'm going to create another one of three kilonewton per meter all right then i will say the load the distance is 2.5 for d2 all right then i'm going to click on add then i'm going to create the last one which is five meter i will still say the distance is um 2.5 meter or you can also put zero then we can close so now i have created the value for the load all i just need to do now is to insert the node where it is expected so let's begin so to do that i will click this beam then i will control and also select this beam then uh, i will use this one which is assign to selected beam then you click on assign then yes then automatically the load will be um, generated on the beam then let's move to the next one which is the three kilonewton load i'm going to assign it over here so i can use a different assignment method which is um let's use um use cursor to assign so i'm going to use cursor to assign then i'm going to click on assign then i'll assign it over here then you can see insert um the third load which is five kilonewton okay then i'll still use um assign i'm still going to use um use cursor to assign then click on assign and then i assign it over here and then you can see the difference in the color the difference is the color you can only have two colors which is green and blue the one that is selected as blue is the one that you are working on presently so if you look here you will see that this is where it, this is the um, load that is highlighted that is why you are seeing it in blue color if you highlight this one of three kilonewton you can see the blue color has changed to this if you highlight the one which is two kilonewton you see that the blue color has changed to this all right so that is um so that is the concept now we have the um the load and everything intact we just need to analyze but before you analyze you go to analysis and print you click on that then you can select any of these you prefer so i'll just click on no print this is the kind of print option so it shouldn't print anything click on add then you can close you can see after clicking on hard you can see what we have here then you can close okay so now we are going to analyze then you go to analyze 
and then run analysis yeah it will ask to see if you can save all right so the analysis has been completed you can see you have zero error zero warning and zero note so you can just go to post processing that is um the that's where you can see your analysis results then you can click on done okay so just click on okay so what's next now is to check the result of the analysis you can just maximize this so that we can see it properly and then um i will begin with the deflection okay so this you are seeing here let me take you through them one by one this is for the axial force this is for the shear force in the y direction this is for the um, shear force in the z direction and this is for the moment in the x direction which is still the same as the torsion this is for the moment in the y direction and then this is for the moment in the z axis this is for the stress and then this is for deflection so let's start by checking the deflection of this beam so click on deflection then you can hold your control and zoom in so that you can see um, the deflection diagram properly okay, you know something like this so this is how the deflection diagrams looks like okay this is the um, exaggerated form you can just hold control and then you use your scroll button on the mouse to scroll inward so that you can see something like this all right but this is just the diagram we also need to see the value to see the value you just go to results then click on um, view value then you can go to beam results and then you check displacement displacement is still the deflection then you click on annotate okay so you can close this then you can see over here let me hold my control and zoom in you can see that over here you have maximum which is 1.011 mm here you have 0 0.986 here you have um 4.588 you know just have them like that and then here you have um 0 0.637 so that is what the deflection of this beam looks like we can check other results for example the shear force but mind you when you want to check one you can just close one let me close the deflection so that we don't have uh, multiple diagrams so um hold control and then um zoom in to see um a better version okay something like this okay then you can do the same thing go to results and then um view value beam results this displacement you can uncheck it you know just check the box again one more time then this is um shear force right so you just need to click on shear so to check your shear you have several options you can decide to check what's the shear force at the end you know this is one end this is one end so you can decide to check shear force at the end you can decide to check what is the maximum shear force you can also check the shear um the shear force at the midpoint so let's say you want to check for the end alone then you click on annotate you can see that for every end here you can see it so that is how you check for your shear force let me just um close that we can check more you can check um your moment so let me take it with this you can check your moment hold control and then zoom in so you can see properly so this is how the pending moment diagram looks like you can go to result again and then view value beam results uh this is moments right so bending moment let's look for the maximum bending moments if you are looking for the maximum bending moment of a particular beam you can just do this then let's close that so this is what the maximum bending moment looks like okay so um at this support you have a support moment the support moment is higher than the span moment and this is where you have the maximum okay also for this this is where you have the maximum okay also for this this is where you have the maximum and you can see the the value all right so um even from the diagram you should be able to see where the maximum is you can see all right so this is how you analyze a continuous beam that is loaded with a uniformly distributed load using start pro in the next video i will still be showing you a continuous beam that is loaded with a uniformly varying load be it a triangular load or a trapezoidal load then we can see the analysis if you like this video ensure you leave a like behind and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can as well click the bell icon so that you can see notifications whenever i post a new video thanks for watching